Hi guys and welcome back to part 3 of uh, WinCC uh, for Siemens HMIs. Um, in the last video we just looked at setting up the connections uh, which we did here. We can now close that down and we go back to our uh, main screen one. So let's look at adding some screens in. Um, when you initially started the project it will add one screen in for you um, now that you can rename just by hovering over it and right clicking and rename it so we can call that main whoops main screen if you want it doesn't matter what you call it call it anything you like um, it, it has no inference anywhere else um, in the program um, other than when we go to the VB on the scripts uh, later on that we can look at uh, using the name of the screens. The one thing I will um, I will show you how to add a screen there just double click the add screen and you see it will add a second screen in there. I won't rename it I'll just leave it as it is for now uh, but beware in fact I will try and rename it I will try and rename it Overview. Okay. Now, as soon as I hit this, it won't allow me to do it. If I call it Over Dash View, it allows it. Now, why won't it allow me to call it Overview? Well, there are one or two things that I will go into in later videos. Um, but for now I want to show you why if you just hover your cursor up to the top of that screen left click it you'll see that the line appears your cursor changes and then drag that down you will see that this is a hidden screen behind your screen your screen is at the bottom here I've just double clicked that by the way which is why that bottom um, uh, little window has disappeared but that is a hidden screen okay I can then bring it back up to the top and it hides it again that hidden screen there is what they call the overview okay now when you run uh, your program you won't see this line or anything um, but it's an overview screen okay we'll get into that a little bit more later when we use our MSCOM and a couple of other things oops okay so for the time being be careful that you don't actually drag that down while you're editing your screen but just be aware that there is a hidden screen behind there and Siemens calls it overview we've got one and we've called it over dash view which allows us to do that okay so we've created our screen what's the template well the template is a basic screen or basic graphics that will appear on every screen at the moment if we open up the template there is nothing there okay now what we'll do is just show you by start putting on some simple objects I'm going to put a couple of buttons here okay I'm just going to drag some buttons and well just make them the, roughly the same size you can copy these and paste them okay so there we go we've just placed three buttons on the template screen now if we go into our main screen and let's just increase this back up to 100% if you scroll down you will see those buttons actually appear slightly greyed out not quite as highlighted as they are in uh, the template but still there on the main screen and the overview screen and if I add another screen in the buttons appear there as well okay so what's that all about well I use this quite a lot because I create a template where I may have on the screen a set of buttons a let's go back to the template I might call one um, 
double click the button and our uh, properties appear let's just pull this up okay and we've got the text here so I might want to change this text to start now just go through this highlight this again that when we change our um, text there are two states for a button a button goes on and it goes off so it gets pressed and unpressed if you like you can have the text change when you press the button or keep it as something different you could say start and then when you're pressing the button it can say starting or you can just allow it to say the same thing as I have done in the bottom here okay so oops so at the bottom here I've got text when the button is off in other words not being pressed and text on when I'm pressing the button okay and you can actually choose whether to have that or not I tend to have them off if I scroll across to the second one I can do the same so we can go stop and click that one and have stop on there as well oops sorry. there we go so you've got stop when your button is pressed and this would be normally reset now the way I'm the reason why I'm just showing you this here is because it's part of the template I like having a menu system along the bottom of the screen and I'll show you this on uh, another project at a later date but uh, what this allows me to do is um, it allows me to put these on the template and then on every screen that appears these same buttons and if I uh, run the screen if I go into um, our uh, runtime and our simulation uh, you'll see that even though they appeared slightly grayed out in our main screen they are here operational okay oh. see how that first start is slightly at the top and then I've left a space and it's gone down okay so you see why it's it's changing these two just keep their values their text values that is okay so the template allows you to create objects on a template that will appear on every screen that you uh, start to make uh, on your list here okay so it'll appear there you can uh, change whether that particular screen is used by the template or the template is added to that screen um, and I will try and find it here because I keep forgetting appearance text these are all the properties by the way on the left on the left hand side that I'm going down so you'll see I've highlighted the button the start button here and these are all the um, the uh, properties events appearance enable the object etc etc and somewhere in here there was uh, somewhere where you could actually say uh, use a template and I can't find it at the moment which is just typical uh, right miscellaneous template button one uh, runtime uh, we'll find it later we'll find it later okay so you can actually choose on this I know why I can't find it okay we were actually on the template screen okay so if I'm looking at my main screen here the general says here it is use template so on my main screen I'm using whatever I have added to the template screen if I uncheck that box then the template doesn't appear on that particular screen and if I run it again it'll take a second you'll see that main screen is our first screen that is appearing and the buttons have gone okay so I'm not using the template okay so I will put that back on alright so what we've just covered there is quickly how to create a template and how to have that added to each and every screen that you make 
we've added a screen we've renamed the screen and we've just quickly had a little look at some of the properties and as far as our template is concerned we've added three buttons to create the template all right I hope that's been uh, helpful I know I've, I've dotted around that a little bit uh, and I've been a bit jumpy on what we've been doing uh, hopefully it will have the next video a little bit more planned um, than this one but I hope that's been useful and um, yeah we'll see you on the next video take care and I uh, hope you like it and subscribe if you wouldn't mind take care now bye bye